So today I want to paint something just black and white contrast and just really just do a bit of uh, experimental stuff. Um, I was thinking about a, like some kind of a zombie like head on an angle. Just roughly sketch um, the draft that I want. Draw like a part of the shoulder as well, perhaps, and then the rest is just going to be all entombed in shadow. Perhaps I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, rough pencil sketch that I'll um, probably follow but not really uh, follow closely or anything just use it as a bit of a guideline it's, you know like teeth and things but I may change it when it comes to it I don't know There, really sunken looking eyes. I draw some thin strands of hair. So we've got our initial pencil sketch. It's nothing great, but it doesn't have to be at this stage. And I'm going to use some of this drawing ink, which is super cheap. That's why it's going down. Um, I think it's down to like half now. I'm just going to take a brush just, uh, and just dip it into the drawing ink. Uh, I'll use it straight for now uh, without any water mixing or anything. Uh, I'm going to it's going to be like a black shadow just like passing through the the head at an angle uh, I've done that before in previous like sort of paint sketches and things so I think it works quite well and once I've established that these I just like black, dark, um, shadowy bits, and I can start to add some like greys and stuff. I'll start to thin some of that down actually. It's really sketchy with it because. It's it's good to do that, you know. It's good to just be free and do what you want to do in the drawings, in these uh, quick paint sketches and things. Sometimes the quicker you work, you can create some nice um, like contrasts uh, with what you want to do. So maybe some let's add some little grey pieces to here which will be good uh, for the inking process Maybe pick a bit more of that out Maybe just uh, thin some of this out a bit more nice to add a bit of grey tone keep some areas white because it's important later on. Right, I'll just let that dry slightly and I can come back with some ink pens 
and start to ink the head more and see how it goes again so now I'm using a Pigma brush pen um, a bit knackered but I can still use it um, for like uh, drawing some like darker um, sorts of areas I want to leave the eyes um, like there's eyes there sort of thing so uh, maybe like leave that white space there and then just draw some rough um, outlines for the cheekbones and things and just some random lines here and there just to just to frame the thing really you know the certain lines that need to be added maybe like the neck and some shadows underneath maybe just do some darker lines yeah, fill a lot of that area in uh, some hairs do some like thicker hairs which just fall on the outside and I could do some thinner hairs later on it doesn't really matter at the moment um, highlight that ear slightly and maybe the top of the head Oops, still slightly wet <laughs> maybe some just some dark area in there just to help suggest that there is space in between there and the, the teeth on the top as well and then the rest will be used with a thinner ink pen my usual unipin ink pen not three probably running out this one I've used it quite a lot I'll start to ink the teeth and things like that zoomed in a bit a bit more in detail so I can show these teeth I want these top teeth to be real crooked looking and so our detail just try and uh, aim for just just details that hopefully help shape the face of this zombie and adding some of that grey tone it, it actually helped uh, because it some of it's like uh, almost like a base colour of uh, grey um, which I can use uh, to further the the shadows and the depth of the the face even though there's going to be like loads of rotten bits on it and I'm just like using the the black and the white uh, well I'll be using white you know white later on uh, for any highlights that have sort of gone overboard with the black uh, but I'm going to do a little bits here and there just in just to see it's all an experiment really just to try and to perfect this like a contrasting way of working if you've seen my Instagram uh, you'll see I'll show you a picture soon once I've zoomed back out um, it's what, one that I did recently um, I was sort of like exploring the the ways of contrasting black and white together and just trying to perfect it really because I've seen other artists doing it it just looks really cool so I'll show you that soon
But I like the way the, the thick lines and the thin lines just wet well together. I think that's a good way of doing things, always, as I've said in previous videos. I like this, that it's like, um, it's more in shadow and stuff. I could maybe add more black um, in the background, or whack on that, as I'm going through this illustration, really. I forget there is an ear there, which I nearly forgot about. <laughs> So this is the uh, drawing that I was on about. Um, I tried to do like uh, loads of contrasts and lots of like uh, black splatters and things like that. I've used like um, a white jelly roll pen uh, just to do the white marks and things like that. Uh, I'm still unsure about the eyes, whether they remain black or I can put some type of eyeballs in there. I don't know. I did like a uh, almost like a, a gun shot wound there, like um, splattering and things like that. <laughs> just just trying different things in the darker areas and a bit of grey tone, like I said before, uh, with the drawing inks. Um, yeah, I just need to perfect the way of working this um, and sort of like uh, trying to do quite a few of these drawings all in a day and uh, just trying to nail it down exactly how I approach this and yeah but I, I, I do like the experimental way in which you know you, you bring all these elements together and it sort of um, looks really I don't know quite effective yeah, it still needs a bit of fine tuning I suppose but the more I do it the more uh, perhaps that'll happen um, yeah anyway try and get back to this now try and add more um, to it maybe some splatters here and there but I did say I needed to have some more black um, at the back maybe just to like frame uh, the zombie and things like that so that's what I'll do quickly while I've got the drawing ink there so yeah it's about going backwards and forwards usually sometimes um, on these drawings I don't know if I've done that neck a bit too thin, thin but uh, we'll see. You can always change things later on. If you go over the hairs, it doesn't really matter because you can see where the hairs go and you just follow them uh, with white later on. Just add that darker. Just a darker edge to it and and thin some of this off with a bit of grey. We'll see. Uh, perhaps there's more shadow here. Really try and make that head stand out. Get the shadow back on the top head, you know, behind there as well. Don't mind if it looks like you've just done it real fast. The paint, the paintbrush, doesn't really matter. Actually, I'll do it all round the head because it'll give me a chance just to add some more grey. Great turn. Thin it down a bit. Dry it off there. Yeah, that, that frames the head more how I wanted it anyway. Too black that one. Just 
thin it down with a bit of water if it's too too heavier than you you know you want the colour to be or the shade. Right, I think I'll let that dry now and we can come back to it. It's almost like a study painting if you ever did any of them study paintings in college or you know at school or whatever where you're doing quick sort of evaluations of tone um, on the page with paint and things like that and just trying to find the right balance of uh, things. I need to draw some eyeballs in there but I can do that soon. Just wait till this dries. Uh, the paper's curling slightly but that's that's to be understood with the drawing inks and paint things but there we go. It's one of them little little problems that always happens but doesn't really stop or um, hinder the process so just adding some more hair strands which I can follow on in the dark areas with uh, some white pens here and there just realized I missed a tooth there tooths or the teeth will continue on that side yeah so there <laughs> I think I need to add more shadow definitions with some hatching with the ink pen do that under the eyes first like I always do these types of drawings and pick out the the shadowed areas which would be the uh, cheekbones and uh, the mouth and under the eyes and maybe the frown lines as well At this point I like to add more more like details and things like that. And try and flesh out the the design a bit more. And maybe add like skin textures and stuff. But particularly if it's like a zombie, which it is, so uh, I can do like holes in the skin or um, some kind of just extra wrinkles or something. Just try and add more to the drawing. Like I said, I wanted to add um, maybe eyeballs there, but I think I'll just maybe add pencil sketches there. Let's finish these eyeballs. I want them to be pretty vague looking eyeballs. Let's get the ink pen. Maybe like gonna be like grey looking eyeballs. Um, yeah. So like I said, I just gotta add a bit more detail to this. A bit more on the shadowed areas. splatters uh, just on key areas I want I'm gonna try and just add like experimental splatters here and there and maybe black and white um, and we'll see how that goes soon I'm just adding minor details now so these eyes 
gonna add some more shadow as well. Possibly more paint. I'm just gonna add some some basic lines at the side just to remind me that I can uh, use a bit more drawing ink or something just to darken them eyes a bit more. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to add loads of splatter to this and just see how it goes. So I'm going to use a classic makeup brush thing. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use that. But first, a drink of a coffee. Oh, camera's in the way. There we go, I'll put this out of the way because I don't want drips going in the coffee. So that'll be a bit annoying. Ah, got some black drawing ink again. Just dip that in there. Then add a bit of water. I want it to be quite quite runny I'd say. No. splatters that's what I want to do don't really want to want much splatter on the face um, just everywhere else except the face just keep getting more water to it thinning it down but that's the way I want this to sort of like look. You can just see a bit of faint splatter at this angle of the camera, but I'm trying to add some white when this one's dried. And the more I thin this down, it's gonna it's gonna be like grey bits of it, which will just mix in. do for now so really I've been sort of obsessed with this sort of way of working the last few days um, I've started a few like uh, which you can see on my Instagram account and um, like I said I, I showed you that one earlier on um, possibly still a bit more to do to this but I could probably add some grey Copic markers here and there just to uh, try and clean it up slightly, but I'm, I definitely am liking this process. It's it's um, just fun, <laughs> just fun just to work with two uh, like mediums or tones, um, and just seeing what you could do. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave that to dry, and I'm gonna add some white splatters, and then I'm gonna do a bit more detailing. Um, but yeah, it's fun. So I just added them grey um, bits to the eyes just to recede them back a little bit. I don't, didn't want them to be too bright and some drips just fell down which I just left. Um, you can see a few drips there and um, things like that. So I've got some white um, Liquitex. I'm just putting that up on the makeup brush because I want some like white splatters wore it down ever so slightly and then I want some of this white uh, sort of like coming off the face so it just provides a nice um, just effect really <laughs> don't really want it on the face much um, so yeah, let's try and draw this, the paper's curling slightly because I've just added a bit more washes just to the side here and there. Let's try and get the last of that paint that I've put on there. Do some fine little bits fine splatter although I want some like larger 
uh, splatter so I'm just going to try and get a bit more but maybe not water it down and wipe all that excess off and some larger chunks just try and experiment with it a bit more may have gone a bit overboard but <laughs> no well <laughs> can't be helped I think while I've got some white out I might as well just put a little bit on this if I can if the papering is too curly like I said I want some on there a little bit of water thin it off slightly blobs of the paint as well I think that'll do for that I think I'm gonna finish up now um, just gonna add some like white highlights here and there um, I've added some on the, the chin there as well just try and uh, get some of this flesh just all um, sort of connected together or something, I don't know, just see how it goes. Just add details. I think I just want to move on to more drawings. Uh, maybe do more like this. Um, just keep on experimenting with this black and white process. Maybe not like do what you know these all the time, but um, I think it's I think it's quite useful just to um, just try and like uh, do certain things in different ways, but um, with different drawings because the more you do that, the more you learn. So that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that there because I've spent far too much time doing this one. <laughs> um, so. Yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now.